For just over one year, Beverly Khan has been leading the Office of Procurement Regulation. Last April, the full proclamation of the Public Procurement and Disposal of Public Property Act meant that after years, there now exists a uniform process to acquire and dispose of all public assets across all government ministries and state agencies. The important thing here is using public money, using the money that you and I pay in taxes, right, um, to the Treasury. Um, so how efficient we spend that money is going to determine how much things we are able to do as a country. In an exclusive interview with CNC3 News on Thursday, can identify the challenges and demands associated with the transformative change. Among the independent body's major undertaking was the compilation of a report on the performance of the body under the Act. It was laid in Parliament on Monday. Among the findings was the failure by public bodies to subscribe to the principles of good governance as exposed by the OPR's whistleblowing platform. We have received just over 60. Um, people use it for all sorts of things, not only procurement, right? So there, there are matters that have been raised. However, following assessments of the complaints linked to bribery, bid rigging and corruption, 53 cases were closed while seven remain active. The OPR is awaiting further information to determine how to proceed with eight others. We have taken the route of going to investigations, uh, but very soon uh, we will be embarking on the audit program as well. Uh, so yes, some of some that has some that I've seen um, shocking, yeah, um, but perhaps not surprising. Can also flagged government ministries, two of which failed to provide a history of their contract reporting over the last year. Among them, the Ministry of National Security. What makes it concerning? The issue of transparency and accountability, those are objects of the Act, right? Uh, the Act requires that, you know, we present the data so that the public can, um, can scrutinize um, how public monies have been spent. Khan said she was optimistic of a shift from an over-reliance on non-competitive procurement practices, or what's also known as sole source procurement, whereby only one supplier provides a commodity or service. Khan explains that transitioning to the new regime has seen an unsatisfactory level of compliance by public bodies to the legislation. She is, however, hopeful that there will be positive shifts in the future. Jesse Ramdeo, CNC3 News.